Welcome to Whiteover Park in County Louth for this special coverage of the Irish Karting Club Race of Champions 2014. It's a perfect autumn day here that will see drivers from five different classes compete to lift the coveted annual trophy and win the right to display the all-important C plate for the next year. But before we get to that action, let's catch up with some of the drivers. Luca, tell us about uh, your cart and the class that you're in. Um, well, it's a cadet cart. Um, it's a Comer engine, 60cc. On the right sprocket, it could go about 50 miles an hour, maybe, on, on the right setup. But we wouldn't be doing that speed here. We might get up to about 35 miles an hour on this track. This championship is the IKC, and um, I'm winning this championship by 20 points. So hopefully, I can wrap it up this weekend. And um, I've run, I've won the big championship, the most proud championship, two weeks, uh, two weekends ago. So uh, that was good, yeah. And what does the race of champions mean to you then? Uh, the race champions, it wouldn't be as big as the, the most proud races, but uh, I'd still like to win it. Yeah, Ho- hopefully I can. I don't know. Be hired. Danny, tell me about the class that you're involved in. Well, I'm in the Mini Max class. It's uh, from age 12 to 15. And how did you first get involved in karting yourself? Well, uh, my mum uh, raced rally cars uh, back in the days, and um, my dad, my dad uh, always loved rallying. He looked after a few, a few cars, and uh, we thought one day we'll go down to Nuts Corner and try try a kart, and I loved it, so we stuck at it. And how has this season been going for you so far? Uh, very good, actually. My dad has worked extremely hard all year. And uh, we've ended up winning the Northern Ireland Championship and the Irish Championship, so very good. How did you get involved in karting yourself? Um, my dad did some racing in Mondello, and he wondered if I wanted to get involved in motorsports, so he rang me down to Null, and I tried cadets out at the age of nine, and it just carried on from there. How has the season been going for you so far this year? Um, it went. It, I just moved into Junior Max there from Mini Max, and I found it uh, a bit easier, and it went down well. So, be really looking forward to today. And what does the race of champions mean for you today, then? Um, uh, I'd be delighted if I won it. Not sure if that's setting the bar too high, but I'll just give it my best. Gary, tell us a little bit about the class that you're involved in. Hey, I race senior max in Ireland and in England and hopefully Europe next year. And so how has the year been going for you so far? Uh, this has probably been my best year at Jordan with a win. I won the championship in Ireland and really good results in England. So hopefully it will go better next year in Europe. And so what does the race of champions mean for you in general? It's just a seaplate that everybody wants to win, so... There will only be one winner here today, so hopefully it's me. Sean, tell us how you got involved in karting yourself. Well, my dad was uh, an auto tester. He had he started up his own car, and he he's when he was younger he used to fix up minis and stuff and drive them around and auto test them. So when I was six, uh, he said, "Do you want to go karting?" And I was wondering what it was. So he showed me what it was, and I said, yeah, I really want to go. And how has this year been going for you? Uh, this year's been going all right for me. I've had a few, I've had a few uh, ups and downs, but yeah, it's been going good. Raimi, tell me about the class you're involved in, a little bit about your cart. Okay, this is uh, 125 Road Tax Max, uh, 125cc. Uh, be the fastest of the Road Tax classes for 15 and up. Uh, use Mojo tyres, and I'm on a Tony cart. And how has the year been going for you so far? I stopped racing four years ago, so this year is just a bit of a uh, just a bit of a comeback year for a bit of fun. But we've been going okay. What's so special about the race of champions that seems to attract so many people? Well, the biggest thing for me is that uh, the reason I done it is the uh, it's the only plate race in Ireland that I've never won. I've won all the rest, so it's a special special target for myself. But it's a great event at a brilliant circuit, and uh, uh, it's been running really really well so far. Aaron, tell us about the class you're involved in. Well, um, I'm racing in Mini Max, which is from 11 or 12 to 14 years of age. Um, it's a fairly good class. Um, you do be doing about 70 miles an hour, so um, it's fairly quick, and uh, I'm enjoying it. Yeah. 
How has the year been going for you so far? Well, um, it was going all right until um, I had a bit of bad luck and I broke my arm. So uh, that sort of put me out of the championship. But uh, I'm back today racing and just see how it goes. And what does the race of champions mean to you in general? Well, I've never won a plate race before, so uh, I'd like to win this one because it's a pretty big one. Craig, you're very welcome back to White River Park. You're usually used to slightly bigger vehicles. Yeah, uh, although I spent about 10 years when I was younger uh, racing karts and it's it's where I was introduced to motorsport, where I was introduced to in, uh, my now career. Uh, so I have a lot of very good memories, a lot of good memories inside this on and with, with the Brennan family over the years, they were instrumental to me beginning and uh, yeah, it's nice to be back. And what's so special about the Race of Champions that has you back here today? I don't really know. I've, I've always wanted to come back and, and do something and uh, of course with, uh, with what I'm doing now in rally and fitness is quite important so I'm keen to try and do something to keep, uh, to keep my fitness up over the winter and uh, Carton has treated me very, very well in the past and uh, I said I'd do one race and then you know, do a bit over the winter and you know, who's what we'll do next year but it's primarily just to keep myself fit for rally in the minute. And how have the heats and everything been going for you so far? Terrible. <laughs> no, I'm 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 not exactly fit for carton uh, in, in inverted brackets, but it's it's just totally different. Uh, a lot of different muscle groups that I wouldn't be using when I'm rallying, and uh, it's a very very tight technical track here. So I'm uh, to be honest, I find it very difficult at the minute. But uh, it's half the point why I'm here. I want to build up on on, uh, on on things like this and be stronger and fitter for for next year. So that's what we'll try and do. Uh, I think everybody has a chance against me this weekend. I'll, I'll not be any uh, any great uh, you know challenge for for a win. I don't think I'm just here to try and uh, have some fun. Uh, I've got my dad here on the spanners and my friends, so I'm I'm uh, I'm just having a day out. This race is sponsored by Brennan Tech. So the Rotax Max final now, this is the big one. The winner of this gets the seat plate. Donnelly converts that pole into a lead. No problem for him. Down into turn one. All a little bit fraught behind him now. Everybody fighting for space. No prizes really for second or third in this one. And a lot of uh, shamazzles there. Up in the air goes one of the runners. We'll have to play that back to see how that happens. They all should be able to keep going. Here's the replay. And uh, it looks like Darren Maher up over the top of Jack McConnell. But uh, watch out for Smith in second place. Gets a push from Sherlock there. And that sends him wide. And should allow Sherlock up to second place. Indeed it does. As they come back towards us now. Gary Donnelly out in the lead. We've seen him on this programme before in juniors. Now up in Rotax Max. The 125cc 30 brake horsepower machines. He's out in front on the Tony Car chassis. And looking good in the early stages. It's a long race though. And he's got some quick drivers behind him. So let's watch how they fare out. Nobody making a break just yet. Perhaps the first three inching away as the tyres get up to temperature now and they're all leaning their heads forward down into the really quick right-hander no problems they're all using the curb on the outside of the track and uh, Donnelly driving beautifully out front at the moment now but right with him there in second place is Aaron Sherlock a little bit of opposite lock pushing very hard does not want to let the leader get away remember it's all about the winner in this one you get the seat plate and you get to keep it for 12 months it's a coveted plate a one-off uh, race meeting and it's nothing to do with the normal championship these two have fought out the normal championship all year and uh, as you see he's wearing number one Gary Donnelly won that one Sherlock in second so they know each other's form Sherlock perhaps a little bit closer pushing very hard again out over the curb really trying to get up to the leader here and doesn't want to let him make a break uh, straight away so good battles going on as you can see in the background all the way down through the field in this Rotax Max class these cars are incredibly quick you can buy one of these for about 1500 euro if you want to get a starter cart and get out on the great Irish karting.com we'll give you all the details and indeed there are carts for sale on that one. The first two now beginning to inch away. Donnelly pushing hard and really going well, but bringing with him all the way Aaron Sherlock there in second place. And uh, Sherlock perhaps a little bit closer. Very technical nature at the start and end of this lap and then some quicker corners out the back where Donnelly seems to get away, but certainly through the sharp, uh, through the twisty bits, Aaron Sherlock closing in and they're beginning to pull away from the rest now. So Donnelly it is from Aaron Sherlock in second place. Ross Hayes, it is in third place. Colin Smith with him and Ramey Eastwood back after that five-year break, as we heard earlier, and uh, showing no signs of being ring rusty. He's right there too, so good battle developing for third place. But uh, the leader still pushing hard, but not managing to open a gap. And you can see that's what he's trying to do. Back of the card, moving around as he gets on the brakes, really pushing hard, but now ever closer, and especially through this twisty section at the back. It's uh, Aaron Sherlock closing right up, and I think we will see a challenge here shortly. These two clearly quicker than everybody else on track. Sherlock putting the head down, as we always see in card, and trying to get that last few tenths of a second as he closes in on the leader and uh, almost within striking distance now as they begin this lap very very different uh, driving styles but with a similar result from these two guys so one it is the new champion the 2014 Rotax Max champion Gary Donnelly still leading out front 
So Ross Hayes still hanging on in third place under a little bit of pressure, but it's all about the first two now. A lot of them recovering after that uh, first lap shunt. We're watching out for Owen Henry, of course, who we know well. has done a uh, great career in karting for him. Uh, Connor McPole in his first year in seniors, he's also there too. And uh, Johnny Halligan in his first race off black plates. So some very quick drivers behind these guys. A little bit spread out from that first lap shunt, but it's not bothering the first two. And uh, I think that battle will commence. And it'll be interesting to see now if... Sherlock keeps the powder dry and waits until the end of the race or will he try and uh, snatch the lead early on looks quite happy sitting there but having said that now putting the head down again trying to get the last little bit out of his car as he tries to close in on Gary Donnelly so it's Donnelly, Sherlock, Hayes, Smith and uh, Ramey Eastwood Ramey Eastwood of course the older brother of former world karting champion Charlie Eastwood and they're the family of the owners of Nuts Corner there's the change now for third place in 16 gets up there Colin Smith just displacing Hayes and that's Eastwood we were just talking about in the red overalls there right at the back that's allowed him right up there too so a really good three cart battle now to complete the podium to get the last place on the podium and uh, these guys will all think if they could get away from this scrap they could close in on the leaders but a big big gap the two leaders there well ahead of everybody else and that's not just due to the shunt they've got uh, plenty of pace these two out front Eastwood now beginning to move around the guy with uh, a lot of pace he'll be looking to uh, dispatch these two perhaps and try and chase down the leaders but the laps of course will be running out these three absolutely together now it's Smith, Hayes and Eastwood out onto the main straight one more time Smith having uh, got by Hayes and beginning to get away just a little bit certainly in a straight line looking like he's pulling away and now Hayes under pressure from Eastwood there for that fourth place Eastwood having a real go now just inches from the back bumper of Hayes trying to have a look around the outside looking at the move that uh, he saw a few laps earlier doesn't work and he has to get on the brakes and spins out of it but they have got centrifugal clutches these carts he should be able to get back going again. The battle beginning to hot up now, up the front again. Gary Donnelly now beginning to move around, and uh, the car, you can tell he's pushing, you can tell he really knows he's under pressure. You can probably hear the card behind him now, because these two well ahead of anyone else, and the battle's on. Donnelly now fighting off the advances of Sherlock, who looks a little bit quicker at this stage of the race, certainly not much in it. Sherlock out over the curves now, dipping the head forward as he does every lap, but now he's right with it, and the battle should commence. We're going to take a short commercial break, so join us for more Rotax Max action after the break.